For those of you who are new here, my name is Nicole, but today, as promised, I'm going to be talking about living with intentions. And I think living with intentions, creating intentions for ourselves and our life brings so much more purpose and clarity into our lives and that stems from every single thing that we do. So even with this YouTube channel or my Instagram feed or anything that I put on my website, I want everything I do to be filled with intention so that when you share your time with me, I don't want you to feel like you're wasting it. I want to feel like I am trying to add value into your lives. Everything I do, I want to see the value in it and I want to see the purpose in it and the meaning in it. And if I don't see that, why on earth would I be doing it? That's kind of my mentality because for so long, I think so many of us in society just do things. We have no idea why we're doing them. Maybe it's because we've always been told to do them. Maybe it's because we have no reason not to do them, but we don't really care about them. And a lot of times that leads to apathy and just not an exciting life and not a joyful life and not a life that you've truly cultivated and created to be what you want it to be. And I talk about taking control of your life and living the life you want and empowering you to stand in your truth, but all of that comes from living with intention. It all starts with laying an intention out. And you can lay an intention out for a day, for an event, for a career, for anything that you do. What is your intentions with it? So you hear, you hear so many people in relationships be like, what are your intentions with me? Or, you know, in those old movies or whatever, it's like the father is like, what's your intention with my daughter? Like, why are you taking her on a date or whatever? <laughs> but if we actually think about this in like a broader way, I think it's important to understand our intention when it comes to everything that we do in life. Because when we understand our intention, we have a clear vision that will give us the drive to finish it out, to keep doing it, to go for it. And if we start to realize that our intentions are shifting, our, our desires may be changing, what we want in life may look different, then we can give ourselves the permission to change our direction. There's this fallacy called the sunken cost fallacy. And it basically is this mindset of like, I'm too far deep into the rabbit hole that I have to finish this because I've already wasted so much time doing it. Like there's a lot of people that go to college and they get so much student debt and they're so miserable, but like they don't want to drop out by the third year because it's like, well, I would have wasted three years. I might as well just be miserable for one more year and finish. But when you really think about it, that is just a logical fallacy because if you don't even want the end result of what that degree is going to give you, then you've just wasted one more year of your life. It's like, when you know it's time to make a change, do it. You know, live with intention and let that be your guiding force. So when you wake up in the morning, start giving yourself intentions for the day. How is my work day gonna go? How do I want to show up in the world today? What do I want my mindset to be? What do I want my personality to be like? What do I want this day to look like? Sometimes it can be super like personal and internalized like that and simply like a mindset thing of, how I want to be right now, or it can be a to-do list or a ton of stuff that you need to get done. And your intention is to have a super productive work day or a super productive shopping day or prepping day, whatever it is. Um, I think oftentimes it's easy to get overwhelmed and not really accomplish anything when we don't set clear goals and intentions for ourselves in the beginning. And the same thing applies for relationships in our lives or jobs that we take or classes that we're in. So much of it just seems like we live for other people or we live to please society instead of ourselves. And we've kind of been made to feel like doing something for ourselves is selfish and wrong and bad. Um, I disagree with that. I think you guys know that by now. I think living for yourself is what makes you the best version of yourself and allows you to be your best self and put more good into the world and that causes a ripple effect that will in innately benefit every single other person because positivity is contagious 
and I just, I, I think back to my college times, my college days, and, you know, if you were to ask so many students on that campus, why are you in college right now? Why are you taking these classes? Why are you doing this major? It was either pressure from society, pressure from parents, pressure to get a stable career, pressure to do a major that necess they weren't necessarily passionate about, but may lead to a financially secure job. And none of those are their intentions. Their leading force behind their actions was to please someone else. And so I think that's a good exercise to do with certain things in your life or everything in your life. Start peeling back the layers and try to understand what is the leading force behind those actions you're taking and those decisions that you're making. So if you start to realize that the leading force isn't to benefit you and it's not to make you happy and it's not to give you a better life in the future, but simply to please society, please your parents, please the people around you or whatever it may be, if it is not an intention that is like deep within yourself, it is, if it's not something that you truly desire or you're truly passionate about, you're not going to be giving it your all. You're not going to be your best self because that may not be what benefits you. That may not be what your purpose is or what you are just made to do, if that makes sense. Like I think all of us have so many unique qualities and we're all so different and we all have so much that we can bring to the table and create such a diverse, amazing, beautiful world. But if we're constantly just going through the motions, not understanding why we're doing anything, not thinking about why we're doing anything and not really caring, we are missing out on some of the best qualities of ourselves. So it's easy to just do something and not really think about it and Maybe you feel like you have to, maybe you kind of know a reason why, but not really. I think it's so important to be clear on your goals, on what's motivating you, and what your intentions are. And when you have that clarity, the tougher moments in life, you'll be able to, to battle through it because you have this driving force. Sometimes I call them core motivators. But that's kind of the same thing as intentions in the sense of when you understand what your core motivators are for doing something, if they're strong enough, if they are truly deeply to your core what motivates you, you'll be able to get through anything. And I think that kind of relates to creating non-negotiables in life. Um, I, I talked about this somewhere. It was either an article I wrote or an email I wrote, but I think when we create non-negotiables in life, it's like we are saying, I'm not willing to compromise on these things. These things are non-negotiables. It's like, if I want a life worth living, if I want to really cultivate and create this life that is going to make me so happy and so fulfilled, then I'm not negotiating on these things. So when you understand what your non-negotiables are, that kind of creates your core motivators because you are so motivated to accomplish those non-negotiables because again, they're non-negotiable, they're not going away. You are going to keep those things in your life. And when that is your goal and you've set intentions on how to reach that goal, any hurdle or struggle or obstacle that gets in your way, you're just gonna plow right through it because, because you're so clear on the future you want. You're so clear on the life you want but you're also clear on how you want to feel. And hopefully, if you're being intentional and mindful about all aspects of your well-being, you will feel that sense of peace and happiness and gratitude for the current moment as well while you're working towards something that you deeply desire. So I like to wake up in the morning and think about what my intentions are, what my daily goals are, um, sometimes I reflect on them at night. A lot of it is personal, personal wellness, well-being, um, mindset transformations, like internally. But at the same time, I think a lot of that affects how we present ourselves to the external world. 
And so when you're so strong in who you are and what you want, and when you know yourself, you will be able to like take on the world and you're not going to be shaken by someone else's opinion or someone else's belief or someone else's mindset because it's like I'm in my lane and I know what I'm doing and like I have these intentions and that's a really that's another really good point is that oftentimes when we don't have clear intentions we are so easily persuaded to do what someone else wants us to do because we didn't have a reason for why we were doing it for ourselves and and so we're kind of molded to what the people around us want us to be or you know what we're seeing around us instead of kind of just breaking all of that down and truly for once asking yourself what do you want what do i want in my life what is my guiding force behind every decision that i make and a lot of that takes some sitting down and thinking about how i want to feel what i want to do what i want my life to look like and setting clear goals and intentions for achieving that and at the same time it truly, I feel, makes us a better person because when we're clear in who we are and what we want and when we take a moment, like every single morning, to check in with ourselves and to see how we're feeling and to see so clearly what we want out of that day, it won't matter if someone cuts you off in traffic. It won't matter if the person in front of you at Starbucks is rude or whatever it may be. Like you yourself will be able to be bigger than that and better than that and match someone else's meanness or frustration or stress or whatever they're going through, you'll be able to match that with the intention that you set for the day. So maybe that's peace, calmness, clarity, happiness, kindness, generosity. Um, there was this really cool story, I think I've mentioned it before, where these people were in a donut shop and this lady was like overweight or didn't look that good and she was buying her daughter a donut and these other people were like making fun of her and she obviously overheard them and instead of saying something mean to them instead of being rude back instead of just getting super hurt and and like beating herself up she just paid for their meal she challenged their cruelty with kindness and I genuinely think that's the most impactful thing we can do to change people's hearts and minds and make them better showing by example how you want to show up in the world and people will see that and they will want that because it will bring you peace and it'll bring you happiness and clarity because you're doing exactly what you want you are being the better person, the person you want to be, your better self. I know I've mentioned this before, like living as your best self, but that takes so much striving, so much clarity, and it's always something that we're trying to reach. We can always be better, but when we set that intention at the beginning of every single day, when we set that goal of this is the person that I want to be today, I want to handle conflict with ease and peace and compassion, kindness, clarity, whatever, you are going to be in such a good mental state that not only will you be happy with the way you react to things, but I think you will bring a better side out of everyone else around you. And if anything, it'll just make you a happier person because you're not going to live with regrets because you're doing what you want to do and you're being the best version of yourself, or at least you're striving to be every day. So even for me, when it comes especially to social media, I try to be so intentional now, at least, with what I'm sharing online, what I'm sharing on Instagram, on Facebook, anywhere. I want to be so intentional with what I'm putting out into the world because I want to be proud of it and I want it to benefit others. I don't want any one of you to feel like you're wasting your time or that I'm not adding value to your life because that's genuinely what I want to do. And that's what I'm passionate about. That's what my intentions are. So I'm constantly thinking of ways to add value to people's lives and ways to show up in the world that will benefit other people. And that's why I love you guys so much. And so when you leave comments that are 
giving me video ideas or telling me what you need right now. Like, I love that because whatever you need right now, I want to do my best to try to give that to you in whatever way I can. I want to create more clarity in your lives for each and every one of you. And so I think it'd be really cool if in the comments down below, you told me some of your intentions and maybe some things that you're struggling with so that I can help you meet those goals because that's truly what I want to do. So yeah, comment down below. Let me know what your intentions are and what are your needs right now. And I will maybe make a video to help you guys on those things. So I hope you liked this video. I hope it added value to your life in some way. Please like it if you enjoyed it. Share it with people that you think it may benefit. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to love yourself. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.